All right, it's time to break our little website. So <clears throat> as you can see, it's it's functioning. I can click on, click on my sample pages, and at the moment, hopefully, I can still get in. Good. OK, so everything is working beautifully. And uh, now we're going to break the website by eliminating the WP content folder <clears throat> on the host. So here's how we'll do that. We're going to log into my account and we're using our FTP client here, FileZilla. We're going to go to WP content and we're going to nuke it. So delete and yes. That should break our website. In fact, it definitely will break the website as I'll demonstrate in one moment. Okay, here we are, parksvillewebdesign.com. I'll refresh it, and I'm surprised there's actually no error message, but nothing happens when we go to the website. So we'll just leave that there. And uh, now we'll go back into our FileZilla, and uh, just bring that in here, and log in. And in Parksville Web Design here, we need to restore our WP content. So I'll go to my Dropbox folder here and um, we'll go into the Parksville Web Design backup here. And here's our WP content. And what we're going to do is, well, I'll try and get this all squeezed in so you can see what's happening. We take our WP content and we just drag it straight into our FTP. And now the WP content is rebuilding itself. Okay, it says directory listing successful and we appear to have our WP content folder back. So let's uh, minimize these folders and we'll refresh the site and see what happens. Bingo. Okay, so we've recovered from a scenario where a folder went missing, specifically the WP content folder, which is the most critical folder. Okay, now we're going to break the website a different way. What we're going to do now is corrupt the database and see if we can recover from that because it's a slightly different recovery procedure. It's not just a matter of restoring the files. So we'll go into WP admin. If we go to settings in general, and we're going to uh, wreck the WordPress address URL, and we're going to wreck the site address URL. Once this is broken, nothing works. So how about we make a subfolder called broken, and we'll do another one here, and we'll go down to save changes, and this will break the site. There we go proof that the site is broken. So if we go now uh, refresh that, nothing happens. If we go down to the root and see what happens, well, we have some of the elements of the website here, but as you can see, the look is gone and the, the path is all wrecked. So if I click on sample page two, we get nothing. If we go to sample page one, we get nothing. So this website is broken. How do we fix it? Well, we go into our GoDaddy control panel. Okay, I'm just going to pause the video here to log in. All right, I'm now logged into my GoDaddy account. Keep in mind that if, you're, uh, if your website is hosted with a different company other than GoDaddy, then you will probably be working in something called cPanel. But the concepts are exactly the same. If you can do it, uh, if you can follow the concepts here, uh, then you should be able to do this with your own hosting site. And if you're with GoDaddy, then just follow these exact directions. So what we're going to do is click on My Account. We're going to go down to Web Hosting. Uh, White Hot Marketing is my master hosting space, so I'll click Launch. Now then we go to Databases and MySQL. This is where we manage our database. Here is our corrupted database that's in place, the one that isn't working. 
We now go to Actions and we go Restore. We're going to go find the 1428 file right there. That's the backup that's in the uh, underscore folder here, the underscore db backups folder. And there's our 1428 file, that the healthy one that we're going to go fetch right now. And we go OK. Now it's just a matter of waiting for the uh, pending restore message to go away. Okay then, so we are now restored. Ignore this that says restoring. It has been completed because the message went away here. So this now should be the clean, new, or backed up copy that's in play now. So let's go back to the broken site and let's just refresh and see if it worked. Bingo. Okay, so now we've recovered from the second scenario of a corrupted database. This concludes our tutorial for backing up and restoring your WordPress website. If the restoration process seems a little overwhelming, don't worry. You can always call a pro to perform your restore. If, however, you have no backup, then even a professional will not be able to help you. Good luck!